Hey, it's Anfa, and you're watching Anfa Vlog. Today I want to do something again, a little different. I'm trying different stuff all the time. Uh, I have an idea in my head for a piece of music, and I just wanted to sit down and dedicate this evening to, to, to getting that down and to making that real. But I thought, I'm going to actually try to video document it for you. So I'm... Um, I'm gonna try as much as I can, just ignore that you're looking at me and just do my stuff. Maybe I'll explain some things, but as little as possible to not um, to not diverge into explaining things instead of making music, because I want to make music. <laughs> as a side note, I want to say this video is raw, long, and rather boring, but it shows my workflow and what I do when I really sit down to make my own music. It's an experiment. Uh, I would be happy to know your opinion if that works for you, if that teaches you something, if that's interesting to watch. I'm thinking about maybe separating these kinds of videos and doing them as live streams with live chat and interaction with live audience, with you basically, uh, or some minimum interaction to, to not dis distract me from recording. Also, in the description I've put timestamps so you can jump to different parts of the video We've roughly noted what I'm doing. Okay, and the final thing before you start, by the end of this video, we'll have something that sounds like this. Back to me from yesterday. <laughs> oh, here's my starter session. I have a. Uh, I want. What do I want? I want to record some electric guitars and distorted chords, power chords. I need some drums. Uh, I might use some some a drum kit I made earlier that I'm using. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that. Maybe I'll record something, some samples. Okay, so let's just let's just give myself some some sub effects to work with. Oh, not sure which one. <coughs> oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna insert one. Call it Zen. See what happens. Oh, no, let's try. Let's see which one. Okay, that looks new. Which version is this? Okay, let's see which version it is. Okay, so... Ah, I might have installed just a different... Mm, anyway, this has the PVM. Does it have the... Oh yeah, it has the harmonic overtones. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, so it's a new, it's a new version. It looks differently, but it's new version. Right, so I'm gonna just give myself seven more. Eight is kind of a go-to. I want uh, some guitar tracks. Uh, probably three. It's like left, right. Yeah, I'm gonna call them. It's right off. Left. Uh, right. And center. I'm gonna group this guitars, and I'm gonna make a submix. New subgroup bus. Yeah, great. I'm gonna make a drum. Uh, I'm gonna make also a drum. Okay, so these are tracks. Oh, but, I can, but I can feed them like if they were Control Shift N. Odd MIDI tracks, okay, drums. No instrument, and I'm gonna drive their instruments from this track. So I have the separate channels for all the drums, but I have a master MIDI input, and also, okay, I'm not sure how many of these are gonna be drums, so I'm gonna leave that, I'm grouping these. So the first one's gonna be kick, obviously. Nah, kick. Want things named properly. 
there's going to be, of course, a snare and the hi-hat, and this is the bass. I'm going to group this drums. Uh, I like this color. I want something different for drums. Yep, that, that's better. All right, so I'm going to root my inputs. So I'll just make everything feed from the input, right? And this is going to feed the output. Uh, tracks, kick in, snare in, hi-hat in. Okay. Now I'm going to tap a tempo. <laughs> Looks like I'm recently settling around 85. Actually, <laughs> exactly at 85 recently. All righty, I'm um, gonna enable metronome. Okay, let's go with the simple kick and snare. I'm gonna make this bigger. Kick, the one gonna be C4. Let's maybe make it twice as fast to just make it easier on ourselves. First, for programming it. I'm gonna go G, right square bracket, L. Okay, so this is gonna be, all right, so the MIDI tracks actually work. Uh, not sure why, only one actually reported levels. Everything should play. Why, why isn't it? Okay, never mind. So I'm gonna play this just to sample it now. I'm gonna go min and max, so we have this particular pitch locked for that instrument. Oh, maybe I'm gonna call it here kick, so I can see. Oh, just K, so I can just differentiate between different windows. Windows, window, windows. No, that's not how you pronounce it. Now I'm gonna set up the same thing for my snare. This could be should be 61. Ah, okay, it was disabled. If I just uh, wow, that was that's a note that doesn't exist. Come on, uh, it hid somewhere. This is it. Oh, so it doesn't receive anything. Weird. It has the MIDI input. It says it's receiving notes. What are what is the problem? This feeds the output, right? Right, it's a MIDI. It's a MIDI output. So why is this listening and that isn't? Uh, how are these different? Are they? Drums out, and this one, drums out. Are these notes different? Edit channel one, okay. Well, that's super weird. Maybe, oh, maybe if I inserted the tracks, maybe there's something going on with the MIDI filters inside uh, inside Ardor MIDI yeah uh, channel selector record all channels playback all channels yes uh, I think there's a MIDI monitor Oh yeah, a MIDI monitor. That's gonna be useful. It's a Lua plugin. <laughs> so yeah, it detects the notes. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete this in a sub effects instance and copy this kick one. Paste it here. Okay, now just so it changed this. Okay, now you should be good. Call this. Oh, sorry. Right click here and S. 
All right, so that something was wrong with that ZenetsubFX instance. And the same applies with this third one. For some reason, these don't work. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna replace that one, call this one, oh, sorry, right click, not left click, H, 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 and this is gonna be node 62. And if I put in a node 62, yeah, we have the hi-hat playing. All right, so we have this set up. Uh, so now I'm just gonna solo my kick, focus on my kick. All right, I'm gonna save this because you may notice, uh, you probably didn't, because how you may know in, uh, that I'm using Ardor 4. Point, uh, sorry, 5.9, but 5.10 is already out. However, I had a problem uh, session was broken completely and I wasn't able to get any sound out of it. So I decided to be safe. Oh, sorry, you can't hear anything, uh, but that's not a difficulty because we haven't started the sound design yet. I forgot, I forgot to connect the output ports. Uh, non, uh, non da, yeah. That's it. All right, now you... <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, that's what you get for not preparing well for a video and just doing it on the go. But I'm glad I, I've noticed this now. Uh, you might not see it. Uh, I will actually root this out for you so you can see it. Right here. Okay, if I just hide these windows. You can see I have a um, non-mixer. I, that I've incorporated into my setup to have live preview of the levels and control. Uh, I have live monitoring of my voice and stuff and Carla in the background here is doing all the vocal processing and side chaining uh, here, side chaining. Oh, shit, I didn't, con this, this does, isn't connected to. Ah, uh, yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm gonna just move things back because I'm setting this up all with a script so I don't have to manually place, run things and place windows when they should go, where they should go. So these things are working uh, automatically, <laughs> but I'm still setting this up. I missed something up, uh, messed. All right, I'm gonna play with Ardor, the kicks. So we have the input. And if I mute my mic, yeah, we can see that OBS doesn't pick it up. So it's not actually rooted here and it should be rooted here. Yeah. Now it now it's recording. Is it? Everything is okay? Uh okay. Alrighty. And it's also, you know, the backup capture. Okay, this should also be captured. Oh, why is master here? Master should be there. All right. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, Jack capture is pretty aggressive about it. its recording policy. I think I may stop it. Uh, Ah, oh, yeah, I I probably did something, changed my naming. Yeah, it's not audio, it's DAW, and then it's master. Yeah, okay. Now it is recording what it should be. Cool, once we have this done, I'm gonna clap one more time for sync. Should we go? We should be good to go. The backup is this. The, the multi-track is only a backup, but I didn't yet have to use it. I wish I will never need to. But I messed up some stuff be before, so I need I need it. Okay, so having that set up, I can get back to sound design. The kick.
had something. No, one FM. Something noise like, but not random, periodic. Also, can make it stereo easily. And shorten. So we have a nice little click. Uh, I'm gonna distort it slightly. it slightly mix it back and emphasize the low end oh well that is that is a lot quite a kick that's quite a kick in the head whoa no that's low shelf I want a high shelf Actually, I should use a peak instead. Maybe emphasizing something right here. <laughs> oh, that, that will take faster notes. I think I'll double the tempo. It's going to be easier to program things. Oh, it doesn't work this way. <laughs> in Blender, I just type in times two and, and it works. <sighs> 170. Okay, so that's drum and bass tempo, actually. T. Uh, it's just. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's snapping to grid by default. That's nice. Huh, not sure. Maybe I should use a MIDI controller. Maybe let's try it with a hi hat. Uh, or maybe let's finish our sound design first. Okay. We don't need this guy. Uh, is this our snare? Uh, not sure. I would like to make sure. Yeah, this is it. something to provide for noisy modulation result. Uh, the band pass. Let's just stick with that. We don't need to make it super cool. Right at the beginning, it just has to trans transverse the idea. And like getting the musical idea right now is the most important thing. And I'm a little bit afraid I'm gonna lose it if I just keep solving technical problems. And the hi hat. Let's make it simple. Now, why do I have this kick snare track actually bigger? It doesn't need to be. It's gonna be super simple. 
you notice I'm not using the noise generator at all. At all. Let's just mess it up. Just do something weird and wacky. I'm gonna use shorten it and make a high pass. So what is this? What is something? Something sounding weird. What? Why? Why is this sounding differently? Why is 64 velocity just shorter? That's it. That's actually a nice sound. Let it stay. Now we can use our lovely sweet MIDI keyboard to record something. I'm just gonna go with the metronome. That's interesting, kind of messed up, but I'm gonna fix it. Uh, S, oh, the S for split, not working again. Yeah, I had this issue in the previous. Why isn't it working? It should be. Okay, it is. Well, I have some problem. Why well, I had some problems? I don't know. Can move this. This is actually trash. Let's just mute it. Maybe drop it on some. Uh, on the last MIDI track, just for backup. And focus on this guy. So we have a lot of bad stuff happening here. Some of it is <laughs> not being on time, and some of it is losing its time in the place. Oh, that's really nice. Not really, really not, not as nice as I thought it's gonna be. Yuck. How much of it we have? Four bars. Let's just consolidate this. Consolidate range. Oh, it's shorter now. I want to stretch it so it fulfills the whole part. And I'm gonna quantize it. So right click, MIDI, quantize. Main grid, what is main grid? Beats. Uh, I, thought, I guess that's too much. Let's go beats by four. No. Okay, beats are these little, these, this is one beat, so oh yeah, we need beats by four, even if not beats by f eight. Let's see. Okay, so now we can obviously correct stuff that is obviously broken, and that is two. Interesting. All right, this is what how it's supposed to sound. That's not supposed to sound like this. I could actually switch this to uh, percussive notes mode. Might be a little bit easier to work with. Okay. That kick is bad. Uh, oh, that is offbeat. 
Maybe it's supposed to sound like this. Quite nice. I'm happy with this. So that's for our beat. Um, I think... Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna record some guitars. One is covered with dust. I haven't touched you just for a little while and you're so dirty. So dirty. Dirty. Hurry. Okay. Never mind. Uh, oh. Something showed off. Need to of course tune it for start. It's channel two, so I need to pick it up here. It's already plugged in. Oh, okay. I'm gonna disable the group because uh, a friend of mine borrowed this guitar and tuned the neck, and the strings kind of rumble, which is a pity because he wanted to do something good and. I felt like it played better before he touched it. This plugin is by Robin Garrios. I hope I pronounced his name right. Uh. This one, the strobe actually makes sense because I've seen some plugins that implement the strobe thing like in a completely useless manner. Like, why you would even have a strobe when it's not working like a strobe? Anyway, yeah, but this guitar isn't like in a good shape enough to make use of such precise tuning. Anyway. Uh, okay, so we have our tuning. I'm gonna just disable this plugin to bypass it in case it do it does something bad to the sound. I'm gonna use a amp C asterisk amp VTS, which is kind of an all-in-one everything. Uh, you can hear this. Wanna play? This super simple setup will work just for recording the guitars, trucking, and getting down the ideas. I'm gonna loop this drum beat. No, this is this is trash. I'm gonna just remove it. Uh, I'm gonna loop this drum beat. I'm gonna actually move my guitars up. Control up arrow above the drums even, just to have. Look at this overall thingy. I'm gonna duplicate my drums uh, 16 times. <laughs> I could actually, I should actually do 15 to be a total 16, but anyway. Oh, okay. I have to disable record for this. 
Okay, I have some reef. Riff. I'm gonna cut this, read the, ta the, the head. And okay, this is supposed to be left. And I'm gonna just copy this over to the second channel, second track. And the overdub, same thing on the right one. We'll see how it goes. Or maybe I'll just try recording separately because I'm going to mess up, probably. up the, the second part. Let's see how they line up. Ah, uh, yeah, we have differences in the arrangement. Let's cut this. Mute the track and see if this lines up. I actually like the second take better. I'm gonna remove the first take and align the second one to it. Okay, I'm gonna re-record the second take, it's just, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna just shift this. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start here. Now it should be better. Okay, I forgot my part. Okay. Uh, ah, I messed up this. Uh, this extra one probably doesn't exist really. No, I can't hear anything. Okay, let's see if I just nailed half of it. Okay, it doesn't very... Yeah, this is the bad part. I'm gonna try to punch in it. Punch it in. Let's do a DR. Let's do select a region. Press the left square bracket. I'm gonna enable punch in. And we'll not punch out, just see how it goes. Now I just, just enable recording, it's gonna start recording when the punch in is. <laughs> Sorry, I, I took a look at the screen and I just missed the fret. Uh. <laughs> Let's punch it in again, right here. There's no need to re-record everything. Just it would be a waste of time. And I I used to waste a lot of time this way. Ah, so I messed up in the first uh, guitar. Let's record the first one. A little bit earlier. Let me change this track to this. Now recording. This. All right. Let's, let's just listen through. 
make sure that this is usable. Alrighty, perfectly usable. Um, I just want to record some sketchy vocals because I have some ideas just flowing from, from listening to this. I'm going to do three tracks for vocal. Same thing, center, left and right. Mono, I'm just going to shift them up. Ah, uh, yeah, above the guitars. <laughs> So this is going to be my mic. I'm going to just slap in a compressor. And this is going to be messy, so I'm going to mute my uh, monitoring. Hello? Is the monitoring going right? Ha, yeah, yeah. Ha, yeah, yeah. Because now I have monitoring from Ardor. Bam dip bow bap da bow we have a deep do oh we need we need no we need only strict IO we can have uh uh mm verb please um uh, um mm verb mm verb I like it delicious deliciousness of um verbishness ah uh. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Probably too much. Okay, let's try overdubbing something. We're gonna have some crosstalk, but I don't care, it's just sketching. Uh. Ah, punch in, punch out. Alright, we have to record this. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I probably uh probably I'm recording this badly. Uh hmm. I wanna Yeah, because um if I mute this uh, okay. Uh, we... All right. Okay. So yeah. So if I mute myself in uh, in uh, non mixer, you can hear me here, and you can see that the levels are very low. Actually, I just had to slam this with the compressor. Fifteen, actually twenty-one decibels of gain. Uh, I'm gonna re-record this. No. Why? I'm just gonna uh, make it louder. No, this was reversing it. Alt 2, no, Alt 3, yeah, normalize. Now let's just try now. Okay, uh, I like it. It's some sketch. I'm gonna save it. Uh, hmm. I think I'm just gonna jump into synths now because I want to like I want I want to fuse some electronic synths with, with these guitars and see how it goes. There's too much guitars as for my initial concept, but kind of nice. So I'm gonna leave it in and check what I can do. All righty. By the way, I would like to have some water uh, or even tea. Let's make a little break for tea. I'm also going to bring my 
headphones just in case. Actually, I should actually use them for uh, tracking the vocals. But because this is just a sketch, uh, we're gonna deal with this. That was a little bit a little. One more reverb. Ah, oh, dude! I can feel the musical juices flowing. It's so exciting. Oh, let's. I want to make a bass synth for that. I want to make. Oh, I want to make a bass synth. Whew. Actually, I want it. I know why. What I want it. I want a bass, but I want also chords, and I wanted to use OBXD for the chords because it has a, such a sweet filter. I wanted to sweep that filter. So sweet, uh, OBXD. Yay! It's my. It's in my favorites. It's in my favorites plugins. Yeah, favorite plugin. Okay. Ah. Uh, so I'm starting with E on the guitar. I'm just gonna see how can I hit the chords. I don't know. Just there's so much cool stuff to do. Yep, OBXD. Uh, can't see the plugin window. Oh, here it is. An Alt T to get it. Hello, hello, Mister. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. Come on, just, just go. <laughs> it, it doesn't want. Come on, just show your... Alright, double-clicking, double-clicking again. Easier solution. Excuse me, the electric kettle just doing my tea. Hey, they're doing my tea thing! Uh, I think I need to rearrange my background and my keyboard. Or, if I just screw that and bring my keyboard right on my flipping desk. You know, you can't see it right now, but I'm going to show you. Right now, I have so much space on my desk that I actually can have this right there. Right under my fingertips. And I can make good music with it. Hopefully good. Wow. Wow. This feels like a real studio now. Okay, so what I wanted, I wanted just a very, very simple saw. Oh, that's low. Huh, maybe I'm gonna make a bass with that one. That's for some funky uh, arpeggiating effects we could do. E, C, D, E. Sweet filter. Uh, I think I'm gonna automate this cutoff. Mm, yes. It's gonna be called cutoff. Yep, cutoff. <laughs> Let's listen to the guitars and oh, I could actually uh, I'll use my. Uh, this is my M Audio, Oxygen Forty Nine Mark Four, and it has something called the Auto Door Control thingy that you can use with Ardor. I uh, just have to configure it so. If we take a look at um, edit preferences, control surfaces, generic MIDI, double click in, oxygen incoming. Yep. Uh, yeah, now it works. Now we have the transport effectively right here. I have transport controls, so I can just use this instead of that. I'm not 
used to using it that way. Uh, uh, it's uh, OBXD is quiet in comparison to the rest. Uh, uh, that makes it not cut through. Let's try it. Let's try again. I'm gonna shift right click. I want to make my tea right now before I begin. So hold a second. Wait a second, man. Hold that for a minute. Ah, uh, sweet tea. It's gonna be good. something. I don't know if it's gonna fit with the guitar. I'll try. Maybe I'll try recording it alone and then try fitting it together. Hey! Well, it, it changed in the process, but Something interesting came out. I'm 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 interested in listening this. Okay, so here we cut. S shift right click. Actually I should probably I don't know. Maybe I should put my keyboard before the, the QWERTY keyboard. Yeah, maybe that's the better way. <laughs> like, you know, right now I have my QWERTY keyboard here and my MIDI keyboard here. Uh so I don't have to reach out that far. Let's check that T. Doing good. Doing good. It shall be ready in a moment. It just add some sugar. Sugar. By the way, let me digress. I was... I have came to a System of a Down concert in Krakow, Poland, last Saturday. It was the first System of a Down show of my life, and probably also the last one, because my, my deep uh, uh, engagement with their music was, like, mainly when I was in high school. No, it was before. Yeah, and like they got me actually singing and playing because I liked their music so much I wanted to do my own. But, uh, anything. Ah, just sugar! Oh, I, <laughs> my modulation wheel is up. I forgot that it's had. Uh, yeah, sweet. All right, but what we wanted to do. First note is missing. Oh, there it is. There it is. I like this thingy. Uh, it, it fits for the intro. Eh, truncate it again. Like this one. Now everything is late. I just need to edit this. Because that single note is late. And then everything before it, after it. Or even para para papa maybe shorter notes. I know what I'm gonna. Uh, this is gonna, gonna be. This is gonna be a. This is gonna be a chilly lead. Chill lead. That's what we're gonna call it. Chill lead. 
Let's play this, shall we? Ah, meh. changing monophonic to legato. I want some delay on this, or maybe saturated. Let's put it through an amp. this together oh too hard oh too hard wow actually I'm very hot levels I don't know if I should be yeah Okay, no, not sure how it's gonna work with the guitar. It's not perfect yet. Like there is, there are some rhythmic issues, but <sighs> do I need really to fix this? Nah, this is just a sketch. Okay, maybe I will. This one, just this one. Oh, that fits! It fits! Oh, sweet, sweet. Alrighty, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just move this. So on the end of the phrase, after eight bars, as I suppose, yeah. I'm just gonna start this one. Uh, we need a point of reference. Uh, yeah, put it here, and then I'm just gonna duplicate this one one time. Uh, two times. No, sorry. Let's just do Shift D one less again. And listen. I forgot the vocal. Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, I don't think I really want to use this effect, but. Yeah, you know, my phrase was a little bit too long and it offset it, not in a way I was intended. So 
Save it. Save. Save it. Ah, oh, Dick Traitor. Actually, I, I, I made this title up just because it sounds funny. And it has two meanings. And two meanings are better than one. When you have, have two meanings, always have two meanings. No, oh, sorry. That's stupid. A little bit too hot. But otherwise... Oh, dude. Dudishness of the dudes. I think I need some crash. I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, crash I need very much. Crash. And extend this group. Uh, I shrink this note. And I'm gonna insert, insert a note right here at the beginning of the bar to emphasize the different phrase starting and ending right here. Sorry. Sorry, I just had to. I just really had to. All right, here. Uh, <laughs> let's see if it will work. Oh, for some reason. Ah, I didn't test the bass right now. Oh, yeah. Ah, I did. Oh, okay. I don't have the MIDI output assigned yet. So I need to put it here. Okay, just... It doesn't work. Yep, doesn't work as expected. It's expected to not work and it doesn't. So it doesn't work as expected. Fabulous. Let's replace this. And now it should... Uh, it won't, but... Oh, it should react to the hi-hat. And it doesn't. What the heck? Ah, okay. Now it does. Oh yeah, I forgot to switch it to monitoring input all the time. All right, edit with generic controls and now double click. Right click, crash. No, crash. Uh, let's now okay, increase this by one. And verify that we know. Okay, yeah, it's it. Okay, it reacts. Now just let's go to loop a very short piece just to have this note hitting constantly so we can do something. Oh, too much. Too much opened. I should close all that stuff. Alrighty, this is the crash. I'm gonna use PatSynth. Because PatSynth, for me, rocks with crashes. Some randomishness with the random uh, randomizers, distort the hell out of it, and high pass it. So we don't have the low frequency stuff that will be a too obvious hint of that we're playing a note because we just want the disharmonic things to sound, and then use maybe the sine harmonic displacement. Uh, Ah, this, so this is the frequency and this is the depth. This is very, very... Oh, sorry. That's a little bit painful. Okay, I'm now also gonna change the profile of the single harmonic. To make it more random. And make it all wider. That's too wide, I guess. And it's too short. Ah, whoa, okay, yeah, we need to disable the force recall for, for, no, not even. Oh, yeah, so G3 seems to be the best. All righty. Now, insert a random reverb with a very small room size and leave just and give it two of these. We have nice sounds that sound like Oh, we can also do dampening. 
give more nice stuff. And finally, a dynamic filter to emulate the high energy transfer and dissipation. And Ah, uh, yeah, it's too, too steep still. Should be good. Let's just go with an EQ. Slap a peak filter to emphasize the... This part to give it some more heavy feel. And we have it. A bit loud and a bit too often. Oh crap, okay. So we have the MIDI regions linked and I think in the newest version, uh, no, something else was then there, done there. Yeah. Uh, these are all not independent copies. So let's make a new independent copy here. And this one will be just without the crash. Uh, we could also like, you know, alter the let's shift D for, oh, let's just do seven. We have a bunch of these until alternating. <laughs> Mission, maybe we can make some interesting stuff. So sweet. I think I could actually compress this. Oh, I do. I, I am. <laughs> I think I need to compress it more because I wanted to compress it again. Compress it six times. But dad, I'm only six. I don't even produce. Uh, let's just slow it. Sure, this MIDI isn't perfect, there are issues, but I'm just going to find a feel for my sound. So now I'm probably focus on the bass sound. Well, I think I'm gonna change something. I mean, this part. Now, here should come a part two. And I'm gonna mark this B. No, actually, C. Because B comes here. This is B. And this is A. Sometimes, like, you know, we're. Sometimes people are talking about structures of the songs, like A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, or something. And sometimes I just use letters to indicate structures when I don't have clear things like this is verse, this is chorus. It's it's some way of organizing stuff. It's probably too long. So 
up some 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 vocal vocal record. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I should have changed the monitoring settings, but whatever. Normalize it. Ah, sweet. All right, now we'll change the beat here. Maybe some automation will. Uh, we'll modify the sound of the drums to make it more aggressive or something. Because we, uh, I think I could, I'll consider this part a drop right here. <laughs> 30 seconds in, pretty good for dubstep. But this is in tempo of drum and bass, so I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. And you can see some real life uh, Linux open source music production workflow. Uh, not tailored for just being a video tutorial. Just a raw thing, raw life, real things, real stuff. Ah, no, no vocals. <laughs> I'm gonna record some drums. I can actually try this. Ah. Where am I? <laughs> Where? What? Why not sounding? Whoa. There, nope. Okay, <laughs> I got it. That was accidental. Hey, got some nice kicks. Like it. I'm gonna s just, just, just try it. Try it. Yeah, I'm gonna probably, probably just crash over here. Uh, I wanted to make some. Uh, no, I don't want to. Okay, I'm in draw mode. I want edit mode. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna quantize this just... Oh, sorry. I was, I was selecting everything. Beats by four, quantize. Let's listen. <laughs> okay, I went too low with the notes. Uh, there isn't anything here. Could be. I wanted to hit the kick. I, I missed it. Uh, I wish I could make this... Like, make the notes bigger. Mm, no, that's bad. I wanted some double kick drum Maybe here. Oh, oh, duh. That's bad. This might be better. Could work with some work. It could work. I think I need a ride. Yeah, let's let's have a ride. At the next slot, I'm just trying to pick the places where the ride should hit for a bouncing feel. And I'm gonna set up again another drum element. Let's call it ride. Uh, this is a fairly new workflow for me, actually. Wow, super cool. I can just select it from the drop down menu when I was like diving into different things. Mm. Okay, now I just have to copy, crash, 
paste it here, replace it, make this shift and should work. Yeah, uh, it's using the crash for now. Uh, so we're just gonna make a variation on that. To make it different, I'm gonna, just gonna mess up with the waveforms in the input. Uh, let's maybe loop this. Now. Ah. not right about this loop. What is... Oh yeah, I'm not starting with a kick. It's delayed. Well, that's bad. Oh, way... Way off. Okay, this hi-hat is a little bit quiet. I'm going to dive in, give it a tiny bit of reverb. Wait a second. Mm. Okay, I'm back. What was that? what was I at? Oh, yeah, the hi hat. Ah, we have the hi hat just there. That's why it's not playing. So we want to add some reverb. I want. Cue it, add some edge to it. Whoa. Make it louder. Okay, so the ride, ah, the ride is offset. Actually, it doesn't still hit my bounce. Maybe that's it. Okay, probably I just feel it weirdly, weirdly. We're a wheel, a wheel. <laughs> I wonder if I make a sub mix. I'm gonna save this session. If I make a sub mix for the drums, sub, uh, yeah. Oh, does it work? I think it didn't. Maybe because there is a track called Drums. I'm gonna change its name to In and try again. Nope, it didn't work. So yeah, that sometimes doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna make a bus manually. Uh, audio... Buses. Stereo. Call it... Drums. I wonder if it work. Oh yeah, drums one. Okay, drums. Cut drums submix. Move it up. I think this is gonna be a good spot. So I'm gonna go to master because everything is rooted right now to master. I'm gonna go rooting rooting grid. No, sorry. It, it, yeah, rooting grid on input. So on the top tracks uh, and disable all of the 
drum tracks right now, like this. Now drum sub mix go to input routing grid and enable input from all these. Cool. Now let's see if I can just drums out and the output. Okay, there's no easy way to, to reroute that with one click. <laughs> I think I'm uh, uh, the whole, this whole thing is just loud. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm afraid it's gonna clip in the recording. <laughs> Maybe I should uh just use the limiter right here, right now, just to be able to assess what is happening. And I can control the wall, the loudness with the limiter also. Oh yeah, that snare is very, very much peaking. I think I should clip the snare to tame the dynamics because it's very, very clip or maybe hard limiter. Oh yeah, this is my favorite because you can listen to the residue. It means everything that was clipped. Okay. Uh. You can hear that there's a lot of things clipped. Oh, still, there's too much. Okay, so I'm gonna use the wet and just clip it in half. So the half of the residue is gonna be back. And then I'm gonna compress it hard to still tame the, the peak. But because I have clipped it, it's gonna retain some, some of the... I can just compress it with peak measurements and super low times. Ah, but it's gonna distort it too much. Okay. <laughs> 10 decibels of gain reduction. That's ridiculous. And all of that was going into the Carla limiter that is right before the OBS stream <laughs> I was basically feeding right into your ears okay thanks I think uh. let's listen to it again just too wet. I actually stopped using Call of Reverb because it sounded very metallic to me, but I recently came back and it doesn't sound bad. I really like it. Not sure why I ditched it. Here, that's so loud. It's clipping. Yeah. 
I think I want to compress the drums together. Oh. That badly, badly damages that snare. Also, my kick is very, very thin. Uh, I'm just gonna give it some edge with with some high frequency noise, mid high. Let's try this. Let's. Uh, need to find a window. Oh, here it is. Ah, I lost it. I need to loop some part. I think I need some more clipping. Distortion rather, overdrive. Let's do it after the EQ. This time, oh, it's gonna be. And just omit the lows. In the post, and the pre. Okay, so I'm gonna apply the filter before, cut the lows so they don't distort. So we have all the, just the highs. Mix that back, and we have a thick topper, thicker top. I want some drone pads, something. Yeah. I already should should make a transition here. And this is superfluous. Let's mute it because there are some nice things there. And the guitars also are usable. Uh, they are so nice. It's a pity to just ditch this. I'm gonna use it soon. Uh, I think I should actually, uh, I'm not gonna uh, get back to the original takes. So I'm just gonna comp and consolidate these things. So we have one piece. Uh, where do I wanna do this cut? Here. Okay, I wanted to do the cut in the same spot. Let's try it that way. I'm gonna do it this <laughs> the same way here with the vocal. I'm just gonna consolidate this. Then I'm gonna cut it so it's clearer in the sequencer to see what happens. Okay, so these, I'm gonna just select all that, move it out, and move this in. And duplicate it. Let's just to do, do. Let's just do two times for now. We will see. I'm gonna save it. Let's interesting I didn't know that the new drum line is so tightly based on that synth oh that's so funny I know what I'm gonna do
do. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I wish I could make this automation move this with the clips. I think there is some settings for that. Hmm, not sure where. Automation. Automation edit. Okay, I don't know. I want... Okay, these are not chords, obviously. Oh, I'm afraid these are... Are they linked? No. Good. Yeah. Eh. Edit. This note. Pa 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 pa. That's interesting rhythm. It's a little bit not obvious. I'm not sure if anybody's gonna catch that. No, I like it. And let's play with this automation. I'm just gonna... I want to emphasize somehow the transition, so I'm gonna draw something to make it change. Ah, sweet. Sweet filter sweeps. Filter sweeps are for the win. Filter sweeps for president. Well, uh, it's like 90% of electronic music of the world is based on filler sweeps. Now a different beat, even different beat, so I'm gonna use that drum beat just for one transition. Transition. <laughs> Alrighty. Maybe, maybe I'm just gonna make it fuller. <laughs> or a different version. Ah. Ah. Control Z. I didn't want that. I wanted to move a note. And I drew a line. Wow. Okay, let's go to edit mode instead of draw. Yep. We want hi hats that. I go between the... Okay, I'm again in the draw mode, which doesn't work as I wish. So I need to use edit mode. <laughs> I mean, it works as it should, just... I should be using edit mode. Oh, I'm in draw mode again. <laughs> okay, edit. Edit and with control I can place new notes. 
fabulous. Will that work? We'll see. Okay, so that's a, uh, a thicker, more dense version. Let's duplicate it. So that is a transition, and then the bass will drop. Maybe I should... I don't know. I know. I'm gonna remove the, the symbols from this version to emphasize the change. And also... I like this beat. I could you I could record on a an electric bass. I don't think I'm gonna make a good job at it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a good idea to try it. Maybe I can sketch something quickly and then synthesize something more uh, in the target shape. Okay, so I just need to. Unplug my electric guitar because I have two inputs in the interface, so I can't record. Oh dear, not again. There's some problem with the electric stuff in this space. It buzzes. Oh no, it buzzes bad. Huh. And <laughs> it plays better. Well, so there's obviously something loose in here. I'm gonna just drop in an MVTS. And it sounds so quiet. I think I just have everything way too loud in this track. So, I'm going to compensate. I'm gonna just turn everything down. Guitars by... F how many? Five decibels. Everything by... Okay, by six. About, about. Vocal by six. Drum submix by six. No, I'm actually gonna turn down the individual drums. Ah, uh, maybe it's gonna be easier in the mixer. Individual drums by six decibels. And the chill lead by six. Okay, let's try now. Yeah. <laughs> Call it bass. <laughs> I need to check its tuning. So I'm going to plug it into the first channel. By no means I'm a bass player. The 
let's try. <laughs> Funny, it sounds like it's uh, tuned down, but it's not, it's just distorted. It sounds very crunchy. Extremely crunchy. I think the latter takes are better. Mm, no, I didn't nail it. Let's do it once again. Uh, hmm. What is this? Ah, okay, this is the kind of a verse part. I'm just gonna move it further away to give myself more of this. Hitting not the notes I intend, they sound interesting. But maybe, maybe I will hit the ones I want. like the first one better and I deleted it so I'm gonna control Z way back <laughs> I shouldn't be deleting this I should just kept it somewhere else I like maybe here okay I'm gonna listen because I forgot what I played <laughs> ending. Okay, I think I have it. So let us mute it. Put on some other track. Uh, I think I should bump up my vocal because you probably can hear it. Not so many or I don't know. We'll see. sure what I'm doing. Let's try to keep this and base something out of it. There's so many options. One note I don't like. Yeah, 
from this part. I think, I think this should be it. Yes. Let's just use that. Now I'm going to transpose this into a MIDI sequence and then build a synth to use that. I'm having my bass track. I'm going to use, move it up. Uh, hmm. Maybe I can play it on the keyboard. That would be easier. Probably should be easier to play it on the keyboard than I'm going to insert. Yeah, I'm going to make a basic, basic bass patch to just hear the notes. on the keyboard I have just different ideas uh, ah yeah so much fun so much fun to have So now I can see on the keyboard, I'm actually hitting a, an F sharp. It's funny because, well, looks like I'm playing in E minor key. I'm not sure. I took some piano lessons at some point, but I dropped from it. So, I'm just doing my rogue way. Ah, recording, please. Pop up. Okay, I'm gonna... Actually, that's so simple to play on the bass, but it sounds a bit sophisticated when, I, when I'm about to... Crap! Fretted instruments are cool. Let's try it. Ah! I think I'm just gonna transpose this instrument here because I don't want to. Nah, something's wrong. Is it that instrument? No, it's not that instrument. Ah, oh, this is it. Ba 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 ba. I think when we finish this, it's going to be pretty interesting and fun. Oh, uh, yeah, now, okay, so this is the lowest note we can hit. It's the E. And now it's a bit... Now it's going to be a... 
Ah, it's gonna be a portamento back to the to the root note. I'm gonna loop all this. And program the portamento. It works. Oh, that sounds so cool because it it has the groove that I felt on the electric bass, but it's so computerized. It synthesizes it. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, it, it, it robs me in a good way. Let's let's finish it. <laughs> okay. Well, or maybe just let's listen to what we have there on the acoust on the electric bass I'm just going to duplicate this and root work from that pa 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 Ah, it's funny because I can just guide myself with the waveform and it makes it easier. Wow, it makes it actually easier to, to do this. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I, I think I need to make this portamento actually shorter. Huh. Maybe I will have to automate, automate this, or maybe I should do this with the pitch bender. Yeah, I should do it with the bender. I'm gonna do it with the bender. So let's go with two octaves of bending. I'm just gonna go with mono. Let's disable portamento. And I'm gonna redo these parts with, with this bender. So Bender, channel one and eight one nine two is the is the level of eight one nine two. Okay. Kind of here. Uh, zero is one octave down. Let's try it. And now we have to get back to eight one nine two. Oh. Oh, sweet. Please, why don't you play two notes? That's not nice of you. Pa da da, pa da da. I should. It should be good. I think I'm just gonna hit Alt and. Yeah, just make this a little bit short. Pa pa pa. Get one nine two. Eight one nine two, and then quickly drop. Actually, what is the rhythm of that portamento? I think it's it's this. No. <laughs> It is actually different. Oh, with shift. Uh, um, yeah, now I will want to back jump back into the, 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 the neutral value and make this a new note. If we start the envelopes. I think the two notes are playing. No, it doesn't update. Ah, okay. I have to move this slightly because when the two values, this one and that one, were exactly on the same spot, that second one was ignored. <laughs> I should report this. It's still bad. 
What's going on? Maybe the resolution of the automation isn't enough to quickly move this up. Okay, let's... that sounds proper. And the good thing is, the bender automation is uh, it it's going with the MIDI data, and so is all the you know CC controls. So if I would be able to learn stuff inside the synth and then use the CC lanes, then that automation would be copied with the with the MIDI regions, which would be cool. Okay, let's let's track this more. Let's listen to the bass. Oh. So that's repeating. And then it's a little bit simplified. Oh, I... Well, somehow I lost the bander automation here. That should be here. And I, ah, and I need to go back to the zero. I mean, not zero, eight, one, nine, two. I already reported this as a feature request, so, oh, it disappears. Uh, well, now I'm afraid that I'm gonna crash Ardor a bit. Let's draw again. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just get this, get that, should be good. Let's listen to the synth. Don't need this. Ba -da -da -pa. Pa -pa. Pa. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> ah, okay, we have some portamento going on. I should disable it for good. I want to add some noise to uh, kind of emulate the, the fret, the finger noise of the bass. Just at the beginning of the note. Maybe with some synth. why some notes have this more and some less and it's because this was because of the um, envelope stretch the lower notes had lower longer decay because it was scale up i think i want some distortion on this also Do this. I will need 
need a sub bass for that separate sub bass because yeah I'm gonna just high pass this at around 100 maybe 150 Hertz and then uh, so this is gonna be the main and there's gonna be a sub the same channel you can hear it already. And now I'm gonna do part two EQ. I'm gonna just low pass to that. Kinda similarly to overlap them. And I'll pause this and I'll use my headphones. To check the bass level, the sub bass level, because I'm not sure on the monitors. I don't have a sub I don't have a subwoofer to to play this out for me, and I don't want to shake the whole house up while making this track, so let's just listen on the headphones. Shall we? Oh, something's bad. I know what. Uh the sub bass was in. Oh, two things are bad. The sub bass was in polyphonic mode, but I did, that's not what I heard. I it, it has a different bender amount. So when this happened, the two notes went down or up, but but different amounts. So that was bad. That doesn't get. Now they are in on par. Like this, uh, I like this. I just, I just wish I could make this wobblishness deeper. I think this is gonna be cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited with this. Let's listen. Uh, okay, I, I think I might leave. I think I might leave in this acoustic, oh, sorry, electric bass. I just need to high pass it because obviously it's gonna mess up the spectrum. Let's use the EQ, thank you, mono. It's mono. So let's give it a tiny bit of reverb. Ah, oh, but it's gonna be mono. Let's disable strict I.O. Oh yeah, now 
in stereo. Actually, mono reverb has very interesting value and it, it greatly greatly fits for nostalgic feels of, and retro, but it's gonna be so buried. I, I, I doubt it's gonna be heldable anyway. So just save it. <laughs> I need a different note. Maybe the bass is also playing it. Yeah! It's not this note. It's higher. This one. Yes! Now it's better. Okay, that's better. Duplicate this once. Ah, it's so lovely to see the information duplicated too. Not sure. I want to check the car limiter because this looks uh, a little bit loud. Not sure what happens. Okay, should be good. And when I play it, Oh, that's squashed. Not ah, better. Hey, sorry for that. Let's listen from the beginning and see where are we going. Actually, this is D. The C. There needs to be some, I don't know, guitar solo here, maybe? Let's try it. So again, I'm plugging the bass. Uh, plugging the guitar. Uh, I muted my mic for one part when you were listening to not insert the unwanted my uh, monitor bleeding but well I'm yet figuring out a way to make that working automatically hopefully the one it's gonna do better than worse let's just 
just jam. guitar gets very very buried under that massive I'm just gonna record louder See, I clipped, totally clipped this guitar on the preamp. I want to re record this part. <laughs> Let's just. Let's try this again. Uh, I hope it will work. thought came to my mind, well that is real open source musicianship, <laughs> well you show all your mistakes and all your crappy <laughs> guitar skills. <laughs> eh. All right. lower the camera so we can see what I'm playing at least a little bit I think I messed up the focus somehow I don't know all right let's just all righty so this is a little bit too complicated for to nail it just with one take I'm gonna try break it down so I have this part Record part after part after we have something working. I recently watched a video with... Oh, I like this lick. Had it once. Oh, I'm clipping in in the in the interface, but that's not a problem because this is intended to be clipped anyway. So getting it clipped at the source is even better. <laughs> Some audio engineers might say I'm wrong. Some will say. Dude, if it works for you, just go with it. And I think that's that. I know what I want.
Awesome, dude, nailed it. <laughs> In five takes or something. Okay, so now I just want to dub this for the right channel so we have... Uh, so we have a stereo image. Which would be cool. Some funny fluttering sound is happening. Okay, let's just do it. I remember the frets. What is this? Let's try. Not sure if I hit the right note. If I did, I'm glad. If I don't, well, I'm gonna repeat. repeat. Now that's bad. Let's just record it. And just delete it. Oh, something. It works. That. Ah, oh, that's a minor second. I'm not going for some doom metal or something. Ah, uh, yeah, this is wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, just let's let's just record it. Sweet. And this first one. Haha, <laughs> uh, the automation didn't refresh and it sounded very funny in the, diff in the wrong octave. Yeah, I think I need to put one point here to make it start from a neutral value. Funny how this sounds. Wow, interesting. I'm gonna make it louder. I think I want to fade this in. Or yeah, maybe fade this in here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make this fade in harder. Maybe longer. Oh, we don't have any more of that. I'm gonna just quickly remove stuff from places where there should be silence so we don't have things that interrupt our bass and things from other sounds. Sweet! Sweet 16, I think, well, how do I now copy this to the second part? Because it's gonna be tricky. Uh, I need this point of reference, control drag, and I'm gonna start two bars in. Uh, sorry, two beats. Ah, nope, here. I'm gonna also copy this and use it on the other side. Feeding into this. Nope, doesn't work. It's not. It's not the right place. Even. Uh, I'd say we want to turn off this guitar because it sends crackles down your ears. We don't want that. Do we? Uh, okay. Um, let's listen from the beginning. What would we have? Uh, 
Funny, my bass. Doesn't align, it plays different notes there. Well, my recording is two hours, 17 minutes in. Normally I would say, oh man, that's enough for a video. But I'm not doing this video to make it a, I don't know, a, like a video tutorial, I'm making this video to show my, my workflow and just to document some stuff that I do and how I do it. And so you can just reference how people work in these open source programs making music with some instruments and synthesizing stuff. Uh, let's listen how this actually works. Maybe correct some of the rhythm that is messed up. I'm gonna save it and try to quantize this. Actually, I'm gonna make a duplicate here and quantize it and see if it works. And then if it doesn't, I'm just gonna revert it. And we, yeah, why does this note disappear? That's weird. Papa, papa. Okay, with one mistake, it works. I'm gonna replace it with that one. I'm gonna just quantize the second one too. And we'll... Whoa, this quantized also. That must be linked. Oh, it is linked. Shucks. Yeah. Okay, I have to listen just to this with the metronome. Again, the same thing. I want this part to be unique, but actually, it doesn't matter so much. I'm happy with this. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can push it any further today. I'm just feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit just, you know, um, tired. Uh, I'm very happy with the result. Uh, I'm definitely gonna.
push this further and finish this track. Maybe it's gonna go for my newest album. It will be the first, it would be the only track, actually the first one released in an album that was made in Ardor, not LMMS, because I'm doing most of my things. I've been doing most of my stuff, electronic mostly in LMMS. I want some chords, I want some pads. Because, well, it was super, my, way easier with MIDI. But Ardor is catching up. Tons of my bug reports were addressed when I was like uh, six months ago. Ardor was a mess for me to work with MIDI. There were so many bugs. And I reported a lot of that. And it got fixed. It works much better. I'm like, it has this a little bit strange philosophy of putting every editing window right into the tracks, so you need a big screen to use it. Like, LMS can use a smaller screen, and you can still manage. But I can see some, some nice things in it, about it. Like, you see all your session. Maybe. I, I was actually considering buying a 4K monitor just for Ardor. <laughs> okay, and for Blender, for Blender too, but... And ultimately I thought, no. Uh, this is so expensive. There's just no use putting putting so much money just into the display. Uh, I want to filter the drums. No, to automate this filter. Okay. So. Generally, it's going to be all the way up. And then here, it's going to come down. Or maybe this way. This scale isn't logarithmic. Oh, no. I'm dropping down so much. There's no, no use. And drop to 80 hertz, maybe. Actually, I wonder where, where, where that point is on the... Make some funky sweep right here on the snare drum and back. Oh, maybe too low. It's gonna, I'm afraid it's gonna click if I do it so low. Ah, nah, nah. Well, I'm gonna small, make the inertia smaller, and also I'm gonna add some resonance. I hope I won't regret it. And I think I'm gonna put this before the compressor. <laughs> Sounds cheap. Sounds cheap and not funny. Maybe if I go the other way, maybe if I go from low to high, uh, like this. Mm, nah. No. I'm ditching this idea. Uh, but this stays. I also want some reverb on the snare to be automated. We have it here. Uh, ah, okay. I need to go. Ah, eh, all right. Ah, I need to disable this group so they don't all do the same thing when I do this. The, what do you want? Wet amount. Yeah, let's write. So we have a basic value that we can work with. And now I want to make it much more 0605. Uh, 
Alrighty, kind of here. And I want to make more. Whoa, uh, that's going to be too more, too much. What? Hello? It sounds more powerful. I think I'm gonna. Well, oh yeah, because well, it's not, it's not a, a blend or a dry wet control. You have separate gains for dry and wet. So we are now adding more reverb. It doesn't make doesn't mean that we're making the dry signal uh, softer. No, we're just adding more reverb. Let's just check it. Gonna, I think I'm gonna try use a gate to truncate that um, that reverb tail. Oh, sweet, nice, nicely working. I'm gonna try to remove all the, the reverb from from it here. I think I want to make this bass even harsher. Maybe I'll go more with the. Actually, I'm going to save a new snapshot. I'm going to call it 02. Dick Trader. Maybe we should record some vocals and process them and make some funky stuff with that. Ah. Uh, all the possibilities. All oh, the endless possibilities. I think. I'm gonna make this, yeah, let's just listen. Whoa. <sighs> it's so funny. It's a triangle wave, FM modulated with a sine wave, two octaves higher. starting this. Okay, it is harder. I actually have to finish my session because I have other things to do. Let's just listen for the last time today. I'm gonna mute my mic so you don't have any bleed. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Wow, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you have any questions or suggestions about this track or other videos or you have any yeah, requests for what I should do, what I should what I should talk about, what I should touch, what I should make a video about, let me know. Leave that in the comments. Uh, I won't be uploading this track, I guess, the stems, maybe I, when I release an album with it, something like a bonus, I don't know. It's, this is just for inspiration for you and some workflow reference. I hope you have fun with that. And by the way, many thanks for ramping up to 1000 subscribers on YouTube. I've reached that like two weeks ago, next, like last week, it was very recently. And I'm really happy because that's a big milestone for me. Like, you know, going from 100, then 200, 300, now being at 1,000. Well, that feels like, you know, I know that you are there. And I want to thank you for being an audience and for listening and for being very positive and giving me nice feedback. Sometimes uh, ranting about bed mic uh, that also, you know... Uh, I take all that into consideration. I, I read your comments. I try to answer when I have anything merit or funny to say. Uh, there is not as much for as you of you that I can't follow the comments yet. So yeah, let's have some interaction. You can also find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash music. And that's my official group for artistic stuff. My music, basically. And I publish links to new episodes there, and I sometimes drop some photos of stuff I do in music related. If you want to follow me, just go there and also have fun. The link will be in the description. Keep making great music and spread the open source love. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.